Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to model very complex masses like uh, Frank Gehry style and you will be surprised how easy it is to model and design something like this in Rhino. So without further ado, let's start. Before jumping directly into Rhino, I started by creating a few sketches to design and think about the shape of the buildings that I'm going to, uh, to build. So here this is a, an elevation that I use as a reference when I start uh, designing the form. So I will start by going to the perspective. So double click in the perspective to maximize the view. And I will start by creating a three point box. Let's create the width maybe 20 meter, 20 and the height maybe 24. And uh, now what I'm going to do is to duplicate all the edges of this box. So choose duplicate edge and select all the edges and then right click now delete the box okay okay box register is fine here make sure that all the record history is on now we are going to recreate all these surfaces using these curves but we i'm going to use sweep to rail so let's type sweep choose sweep to rail or we can choose it from here Rail 1, Rail 2, Profile 1, Profile 2, right click, same thing here, Rail 1, Rail 2, Profile 1, Profile 2, Rail 1, Rail 2, Profile 1, Profile 2, right click, <coughs> Rail 1, Rail 2, Profile 1, Profile 2, right click, same thing here, right click to bring the command again, Rail 1, Rail 2, Profile 1, Profile 2, right click, and also the base, Rail 1, Rail 2, Profile 1, Profile to right click. So now I'm type SEL CRV for select curve, and I'm going to isolate the curves so we don't select the faces by mistake. And I'm going to select these curves and type rebuild. Okay, add control point maybe four and degree three. So uh, since we, we we were recording those three when we created all these faces so if we adjusted the curves any adjustments that we will do the, uh, to the curves the face uh, the faces will be updated to to follow the these curves so we can keep doing this and maybe add more control point or remove control point to get the required design so i'm going to repeat this method to i'm just going to press ctrl z for now And also control it for rebuild curve. I'm going to copy this curve, but I'm going to stop record the history for now. And I'm going to copy these curves to create few more masses and create create surfaces from them and start editing everything at once. So I'm going to copy this maybe here. Hold Alt and move using the gamble. Then let's scale everything. Let's uh, switch to the ghost mode here. Let's select all the curves, choose scale 3D, make this maybe 10 meter, or maybe 15 meter would be good. Let's move this gumball. Why? Let's select all the curves again. Hold Ctrl to deselect this one. Double click to move the gumball here. Maybe start scaling this a little bit like this. Down. Let's keep the surface for the for the last word. Let's copy just all the curves, create all the required number of masses, and then we'll start creating all of them, all the surface at once, and open the record history. So click to move the gumball. Just a little bit like this. We just need to move up also.
Hold the control to select. I'm going to, uh, to put every 12 uh, curves into one group. So select all the curves and, and uh, press Ctrl G or select the group from here. Same thing to the remaining curves. For example, here, same thing here. I will select this one, this one, this one, this one. Hold Shift to select the multi object at the same time. Ctrl D select. And press Ctrl G to make all these curves as a one group. Same thing here. Thing here so so that we don't select the uh, edges by mistake everything is one group let's start creating a few more masses maybe one here too Okay, now let's uh, open always record history. So right click here and choose always record history. Now let's create uh, the surfaces. So I will have to ungroup the objects I'm going to work on. So let's ungroup this for now. Sweep to rail, rail one, rail two, profile one, profile two. Right click, rail one, rail two, profile one, profile two. Rail one, rail two, profile one, profile two. Rail 1, Rail 2, Profile 1, Profile 2, right click. Rail 1, Rail 2, Profile 1, Profile 2, right click. Select all the curves again. Select surface, so type select surface and lock them. So type lock. Select these curves again and control G to make them group again. So here, ungroup this one. So we will keep repeating the same processes for all the remaining masses, which is uh, ungroup the curves, sweep to rail to create uh, all the faces, then group the curves again using control G, and then select the surface using SELSRF uh, command to select all the surface and uh, then lock the, these surfaces. So I will speed this part up a little bit to save some time. So after modeling all the faces, all we have to do is adjusting this curve. So I'm going to select all these curves, type rebuild curves, choose control point four and degree three, okay. And now let's select this for example and start refining the object. So maybe moving this control point like this. And this maybe need to go here. This one may need to go out like this. This one too. Maybe this need to be something like this. For this one, let's move this away like this. Select this, double click, move the gumball here and double click to move this and move it down like this. Move this also. Move these points, move them down maybe. Maybe these points need to move here like this too. Or maybe moving this actually something make it look something like this move this here a little bit maybe this point need to go down we'll have some kind of more curvature 
So you get the idea, we'll keep adjusting the control points of the curves. We can uh, delete or add more control points and uh, we can just uh, adjusting the control points as we want using the gamble and to move the gamble, uh, double click on the point of the gamble to move it. And you can also move the handles of the gamble by double click. This can give you more accuracy and so on. So I will speed this part a little bit to save more time. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you later.